everybody thank you so much for clicking on this video for watching my videos for joining me on these conversations of life because that's what we do over here on this channel we talk about a whole lot of topics dealing with mental health dealing with um life in general dealing with hard this making hard decisions dealing with celebration we talk about those topics so thank you guys so much for stopping by and for joining me on this journey but we are going to be talking quickly about a discussion um about a topic sorry that um that plays into everything that plays into life itself and the topic of this video is called the hurt is over before we jump into that, please look at the sponsor of this video, which is my brand new book, The Hush Language Mental Health Journal Youth Edition, okay? And since we're on this bandwagon of mental health, um, this book is directed towards youth, towards teens in the community, just around the globe, dealing with depression, anxiety, peer pressure, confidence, self-esteem, and all of those things that they deal with that we sort of kind of overlook. It is an artistic um, based journal and so youth can have a whole lot of fun with this go ahead and check this book out on my website the link will be down below linked and in the description box you box use code yay 10 that's y a y one zero four ten percent off of your purchase your support is greatly appreciated now let's get into the topic of this video the hurt is over okay so i was thinking about this topic and I was thinking about what can I say? And when you really look at the significance of hurt being over, this can be divided up into so many different videos, which I might just do. But just to give um, an overall basis for this topic, the hurt is over. Dealing with mental health issues, dealing with the things that we go through in life. Um, I want to specifically base this topic on past issues, since that is a topic of discussion in my books. Um, but past issues, a lot of us that have experienced so many things in our upbringing, our childhood, and our past um, that probably should have killed us. Um, we've experienced so many things to the point that um, it ha it sh kind of sort of shaped our viewpoints on life and I think that everybody everybody's viewpoint on life is shaped as they grow but when you go through traumatic experiences and things in your life it shapes who you are um, and, it, and it shapes your world view in um, not a so great light meaning it can keep you back it can hold you in one place um, it can keep you mentally in bondage and that is not what we want to do. We don't want to stay in mental bondage. We don't want to, um, you know, suffer silently. And the thing that really, really triggers me is that sometimes people can overlook what another person is going through. And as they get older, as I mentioned in another video, that um, as you get older, Certain people will tell you to let it go, just get over it because you're older now, you're not that same person. But I want to address that it's not the fact that the person is older. I want to address the fact that um, there's an inward struggle and even though you've gotten older physically, what you're dealing with is still there in that same place. Whether it was abuse as a child, whether it was bullying as a child, peer pressure as a child that really shaped your viewpoint, you can be grown now, but then who you um, were when you experienced the, that trauma, you're right there mentally in your head. And so it's not always an easy thing to get over. And so, but what I really want to uh, make a point about is that the hurt is truly over. We're just catching up with ourselves mentally. The hurt is over. Like, speaking about myself, physically, I am doing well. Physically, I am doing the things that I am proud to be doing. Physically, I am excited about things that are happening in my life. Um, for the most part, some things that I do want to change, but for the most part, I'm not where I used to be. So, technically, the hurt is over. Really? So, why do we put ourselves through that type of um, 
mental barrier. Why do we put ourselves through that? It takes time. It takes time. But as long as we continue to tell ourselves that the hurt is over, um, that you're not that little girl anymore, you're not that little boy anymore, you're not in those positions anymore, you're not in those traumatic experiences anymore, you're not around those people who've hurt you anymore, you're not there, you are in a safe place and no one could touch you. You are doing well. And as long as we keep reminding ourselves that, then we could begin to understand. I think the problem with a lot of us, including myself, is we know this. We know that the hurt is over. We're, we know that we're not in that place anymore. But yet, um, we um, go that, down this mental escape from reality for what from what's happening now we go down this mental escape escape and we put ourselves back into the trauma and I've noticed I've done that a lot I put myself back in the trauma mentally and I'm like girl why are you reliving this why are you putting yourself back through that mental trauma it's not always an easy thing to do it's not always an easy thing to recognize um and it can be frustrating but I'm really really grateful that I do understand this and that I have a way to pull myself out of it. And so um, I want to encourage somebody out there that if it's you who may be feeling strained, who may be feeling overwhelmed, who may be feeling like you just you you just um, are in this hurt, you're um, experiencing this hurt, I want to let you know that you're the one creating this for you. You have a choice. You have a choice in it. You have the power and the position in your own life to say, you know what? The hurt is over. I know what happened to me. I know um, what it felt like. And I know I don't want to ever go back there again. And I don't want to experience that in my now. You have that choice. <clears throat> Excuse me. You have that power. And you have to also be sure to not allow people, including some therapists, because I've experienced it experience some not so great therapists in the past um but including therapists you have to know when to not let them destroy that for you because I had a therapist who really really tried to to destroy that for me um you know by not giving me the freedom to express and to really get out what was hindering me um but she would always tell me that oh you're grown now you're grown now and you need to just be grown and, you know, and forget about all of that. And I just, I just don't think that that's the right way for a therapist to tell, a, potentially a patient of theirs to, um, that they're grown, get over it, basically. That's why we're coming to therapy for you to help us. But that's neither here nor there. My little rant, a video will be coming up on therapists soon because therapists are so important. Um, but anyway, so yeah, you hold that, you hold the key, you hold the power, you have the control, you are in the position to change your own life, to do what you need to do for you. And it can be hard. It can be a journey. Sometimes I doubt myself. Sometimes I'm like, oh, child, girl, what are you doing? What are you doing? But then I realized that I do have the power and I have the control and we got this. So I encourage you out there to understand that the hurt is over. It is really technically over, but the process of getting yourself, to, um, your your mind to a happy place and to a consistently happy place, it does take time. I'm on that road now. I'm on that road now and it takes time and it's, I, baby, I have my moments sometimes and it can be frustrating. But I encourage you out there to keep pushing like I'm doing the same. Keep pushing. Don't give up on yourself like I'm not giving up on myself. Um, just just keep going after it. Don't give up because you are important. You's important. You's important. You matter. You important. But... <laughs> That'll be it for this video today. The hurt is over, y'all. Go tell your, your family, your friends, hide your kids. I'm just... But no, for real, the hurt is over. Um, And walk in that authority. Walk in that authority. 
okay so until then i am going to see you guys in the next video don't forget to check out my book use the link below and the code yay10 that's yy10 for 10 percent off your purchase support your girl but until then the hurt is over let me tell you something it is over boo it's over bye for now